Hey guys, what's happening? So, software updates, pretty interesting, aren't they? An over-the-year update bringing loads of quality of life improvements and changes to your phone. And Android 13, the latest version of Android, is in its final development status. So, today we're going to talk about some of the great, less talked about, but interesting features that are going to come with Android 13. So, this is Gaurav, or as the people here like to call me, Varun SE. You're watching Guide in Tech. Let's get started. Material U was one of the biggest features and additions with Android 12. It was all about extracting colors from the wallpapers that you have set on your phone and then adding it to all of the UI elements. Well, with Android 13, that is about to get a whole lot better. Android 12 offered four different color palettes made out of the colors extracted from the wallpaper. But Android 13 adds more tones to these colors, taking the number of color palettes up to 16. And it remains just as simple to change. All you need to do is touch and hold anywhere on the screen, select the wallpaper and style option from the pop-up menu, and scrolling down, you will see the color palettes. Swiping on it will show you all of the different color palettes available. Android 13 also brings a new widget to the club. Wouldn't it be interesting if you had one widget that showed the battery levels of a phone, of the TWS that you connected, and the case of the TWS? Well, that's what we get with Android 13. Well, if the TWS in question support Google Fast Pair, this new battery widget on Android 13 will show battery levels of both the earbuds and the case. It adapts the colors to your wallpaper. All you need to do to get this widget is to tap and hold anywhere on the home screen, select widgets on the pop-up menu, scroll down to battery, tap on it, tap and hold on the widget, and then place it anywhere you want on the home screen. What's great is that depending on how you resize the widget, the look of the widget will change. Friend of the channel, Shreyas, pointed this out through a tweet. Whenever you're listening to a favorite song that you have on any of the streaming services like Spotify or YouTube Music, and whenever you minimize the app after switching to the song, there is a media player that appears in the notifications panel. You must have noticed it. You control all your songs through that. This particular media player has got an upgrade on Android 13. The theming is majorly based on the album art, spread out over the entire player. The progress bar shows a new squiggly animation when the music is being played as a fun little touch. And whenever you're connected to a Bluetooth device, there is an option that will help you choose which device should be used for playback, either the phone itself or the connected Bluetooth device, which has had a big redesign as well making it simpler, easier, and better to use. And also, if you have been using a Pixel phone in the recent times, you must notice a search bar right at the bottom of the home screen. That has been there for the longest time. While it could be used for a quick Google search so far, with Android 13, you can do a lot more. This search bar is now unified. So now, using the search bar, you can search anything on the web or look for any app on your phone as well. And the animation that it opens with looks pretty smooth too. While notification management has been great on Android, where it does not perform that well is when you have an overwhelming amount of notifications on your phone just because you did not check it for a while. That's because all of the apps by default have the permission to send you notifications. Not anymore. With Android 13, as soon as the app is installed, whenever you will open the app for the first time, you will get the option to allow or not allow the app to send you notifications. Pretty convenient, right? And copying and pasting has also been made better on Android 13. Till now, what you needed to do to copy and paste was pretty simple. You copied the text, you pasted the text, obviously. But now, that has been changed a little bit. With Android 13, whenever the text is copied, a pop-up will appear at the bottom left corner, which will show you the text copied. If you tap on the text, you will be able to edit everything that was copied. Further, you can also press the share button beside it to directly open the app where you want the copied text to be pasted. We're living in a time where we see QR codes everywhere. While making a payment, while opening a website, while downloading an app, there is a QR code for everything. And so far, on Android, there has been never a built-in native QR code scanner. 
which is pretty ridiculous, right? So another great inclusion with Android 13 will be the native toggle to open the QR code scanner, which will be located in the quick settings panel. To add this to your quick settings panel, simply swipe down twice on your home screen to get to the quick settings panel. Tap the small little pencil under the toggles, search for the scan QR code tile, tap and hold on it and replace it anywhere in the quick settings panel. And now, since the QR code is in your quick settings panel itself, it can be accessed right from the lock screen. So these were some of the interesting but less talked about features on Android 13 that are about to come. We tested all of these features on a beta version of Android 13 that is there right now. And when and how these features will show up on your phone depends on which phone you're using, be it Samsung or Xiaomi or OnePlus. And if you're using a Pixel, as soon as the official update comes into being, you'll be the first one to get it. So that's pretty much it. If you like the video, like it. If you love the video, then press the red subscribe button beside it. And beside that, you'll find a bell icon. Press that, you'll get all the notifications of all the videos that we upload from now on. And apart from that, this has been Gora, and I'll see you in the next one.